The widow of a man who died at Bow Roundabout has criticised new safety measures designed to protect cyclists. Lower level traffic lights have been installed at the junction, which has become notorious following the deaths of three people. Critics have described the move as cosmetic, with one campaigner even telling cyclists to ignore the lights completely. Our political correspondent Simon Harris explains. They're a common sight on the continent, but these lights are a first in Britain. Shoulder-height, bike-only traffic lights are being pioneered at the Bow Roundabout. This is where Brian Dawlings, Svitlana Tereshenko and Venera Minakmetova were all killed. Brian Dawlings' widow Debbie hasn't seen the new lights for a good reason, but isn't convinced they'll do any good. I'm very angry with the, the whole thing and as, as you know, I mean, I couldn't go there today because I just, I, I hate the place with a passion. But, you know, something has to be done um, and I'm not sure that the, the, the lights actually help. But the mayor and his transport advisers take the opposite view. This isn't a miracle cure, but it is a start, a very important first step in making this junction safer. What it does, it, it avoids the confusion that we sometimes see where cyclists aren't sure which set of light is for them and which set of light is for cars. The bow interchange is on one of the mayor's cycle superhighways, CS2. At last year's inquest into Brian Dawling's death, it was suggested the blue lanes lull cyclists into a false sense of security. Cycling campaigners gave the new lights a cautious welcome, but there's still a real concern that they don't address the fundamental problem, that the Bow Roundabout is badly designed, confusing and still dangerous. And that's led one campaigner to adopt a controversial tactic. Jerry Matthews believes jumping the lights can be safer than obeying them. Wait for a sensible gap, move off as though this was a junction without the lights. Yet there are signs here saying cyclists stop on red. Which red? You know, if you were a cyclist coming down here and using this, which red? I think there's 10 sets of lights here. I appreciate that the eye level lights are, are an innovation in the UK. Connected to a far better junction, we would have no quibble with them. The problem with this setup here is that it's a cosmetic overlay to a serious problem. City Hall and Transport for London reject that approach, but they admit this junction is still not as safe as everyone wants it to be and more changes are needed. Simon Harris, ITV News, Bow.